starting lineup for Lyon. Sonia Bonpassor, the manager, former French player, also former teammate of Lori's, who played in the United States professionally for a little while. But Otta Hegeberg, also another player on the bench. And there you go, you get a look at the lineup for Chelsea as well. How about that attack? <laughs> Sam Kerr in the middle led the league in scoring last year, the Women's Super League. Also adding to that attack. And you could just continue on down the list, I think. Yeah, you certainly could. I, I would keep my eye, though, on number 22, Cuthbert. She's going to be in the deep line midfield role. First time that she's really going to be very excited about that young player that you mentioned, Lauren James. Also really excited to see what Buchanan could do as we do get things going from Providence Park. This is a fourth edition. And this is something we're going to see Haran and the American fans will be used to this. Side flag down, Kerr with the chip. Sam Kerr scoring goals. That's what she does. Chelsea with the lead. And it's a fantastic run from Sam Kerr. No one picks her up, just outside the end. Ball's played on the dime over the top. Just receives it so well with her first touch. And then Zindler's coming out, just chips it over. Seeing Sam Kerr do this time and time again. Puts Chelsea up 1-0 early on in this game. Good patience from Chelsea early on just to move the ball around. And then great movement. Emma Hakes credits, credits her as one of the best in the world in and around the box with her movement. You see it here early on in this match. She was the best player, the best goal scorer the National Women's Soccer League has ever seen. Still remains number one all time in the NWSL with her 77 goals. Right in and Kerr running after it again. Christian Endler, the fine goalkeeper out of Chile, played at Carter. Quick look over the shoulder, knows there's space there. And has a chance to take it herself, just misses. We've seen harder hit from this distance before and find the back of the net. Just pulls around it a bit too much, sends that wide. Chance in the box, Chelsea looking to add to the lead. Endler stops it initially. It was Charles who took the shot. Well, it's well done from Harder initially to regain possession quickly, proactive in her ability to win it back. All right, and we'll give it another go. Kerr working on the back post. They came out of the glove. Of Christian Endler, but not without some contact. And our referee Natalie Simon blowing the whistle. Buchanan, who will certainly get up as a target as well, may have been part of the problem there. Why the whistle was blown? Let's see. Well, that's a dangerous ball in, and well done from Sam Kerr. Just to get a little bit of separation. Tough from that angle to see. Endler does well though to grab a hold of this one, but then as she's coming down. I think they're a little it's harsh. Two players, yeah. I mean, it looked like Buchanan is actually just kind of underneath yeah. Endler when she comes down. Doesn't initiate rightfully contact. so as well. I don't Trying know to get herself that. into I feel like everybody up for Chelsea. Yeah. Both center backs. And yeah, perhaps a tactical yeah, foul. Yeah, yeah. And, and a number of fouls on Cuthbert. Not afraid to get into tackles, but it's a, at least a third or fourth that she's brought down a player. Lisa Mayer with a bit of a longer touch to try to break free in the... Will we see a little more offense from Leon in the second half? So far, Chelsea, the only goal in this matchup of European champions, 1-0, our scoreline at the half. Yeah, we've seen some late challenges from both sides that just disrupted play. Here's a Samir just coming in. Lauren James wants it back from Kerr. She'll get it. James in the box. One touch. So composed. Left foot. What a goal! World, say hello to Lauren James. And these are the combination plays, a little 2v1 situations that Emma Hayes is looking for. This time it's between Lauren James and Sam Kerr.
starts with James. She gets it back. Then a quick little cut to buy herself some time against Maroney. Just against the grain. And then look at that finish. Just gets around and bends it to the upper corner. Endler does well to get a touch on it. But just too much pace, too much bend to keep it out of the back of the net. And all smiles for the young 20-year-old. In the NWSL. And Kerr off to the races for Chelsea. Where will she go? She's going to lay it off. Harder says, thank you very much. Make it three for Chelsea. Or not. <laughs> but so much to like in that buildup. Yeah. the flag coming up. It is another great run. An important ball in from James. Early enough to be able to keep Kerr on side. Oh. And the commitment from Harder to get into the box. Catch up with Kerr. Try some different combinations. This is one of those new players for Leon. Pinyahia is not on target with that attempt. But the right idea just sees a little bit of space. Tries to curl into the upper corner. Gets it onto her right foot. Gets the ball out from underneath her. That one's always being pulled wide, but right idea. So Engel trying to make something of it though. Oh, right in the near post. Chilean goalkeeper Christian Endler in the next match. It's going to present different challenges than they're used to. Challenge here for the defense. Top ball, the handle. Good turn and the shot at the near post. Saved. When we talk about Aaron Cuthbert being more of a, a true number eight. <laughs> Then that deep line number six player that she's been playing in, position she's been playing in all evening, this time getting into the mix, this spins herself out of trouble, gets a little bit of an opening here, gets her head up. Larry Sang, new Chelsea player, good ball in. Buchanan got a touch to it, but could not bring it down. And, and what a ball for Paris Sang, yeah. just driven low in behind. Buchanan, the desire to get there first. So difficult to deal with if you're a defender because everyone's facing your own goal. Horan right through the wall. Lindsay Horan, what a goal. Welcome back to Portland. And what a homecoming for Lindsay Horan. Just strikes through this. You see the bend, the pace. Catches Musovic trying to get the trying to make the play, but it does look like in the end she's screened, doesn't see the ball as it's dipping. Good enough pace. Bend on it. We've seen Haran do this time and time again. And Moroni, two French women teaming up for this French champion. They all look at the tie. Understand where they are, they're preparing for their season. They want to win a championship. Leon trying to force us into a draw. And then we'd be looking at penalties directly if we were to stay tied at the end of 90. But right now, Chelsea's still hanging on to the lead. That's the first time that we've really seen a direct ball in behind. It's Von Donk that gets on the end of it, bypasses Boot. Another new member of this Chelsea side also on to the pitch. This ball bounces. Leon off the pose, the chance in front. Well, there's the ball over the top, and it's Avondadonk initially that does well. Look at the positioning of Avondadonk, just allows it to roll across her body. And then it's Broom with the finish, gets in front off as it ricochets off that far post from the initial attempt from Avondadonk. And no one for Chelsea reacts. There's three players around Broom, but she gets to it first. And it's 2-2 out of nowhere, yeah. really out of the run of play.